you know, it didn't ruin my life. I mean, I was, uh, I was a bit miffed and depressed, and uh, then I, um, I had had a trip planned like a week and a half later. On a, on a, it was a business trip, and I was going to take a holiday afterwards to go to Asia, to go to Burma and uh, India with my wife and my brother and my mother-in-law. And once I got on the plane and landed in, uh, I remember landing in Singapore, and it was sunny and nice, and I just felt, all of a sudden I said, well, this was like a real punctuation mark in my life, and I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to let things come into focus. And I really felt so honored to, and lucky, to have been there and taken that ride for 26 years, and I convinced myself, well, man, you're there, a quarter of a century, it's probably time for a change anyway. So the mind has a, a capacity to rationalize things like this. And when I got to Asia, I realized how insignificant it all was when you're out of sort of the Hollywood, uh, you know, microscopic bubble. And um, I had that feeling I had sort of had when I quit the job in advertising way back when of like, uh, there's something new ahead. I don't know what it is, but I felt, I sort of felt free and unencumbered and uh, I felt very insignificant in the world, you know, and that anything could happen. And uh, I must say, I, I don't really look back with any regrets. 